Hey guys, it's KK. I hope you all are doing well. I have been gone from YouTube for a bit, so I'm so happy to be back. Mostly, I've been gone because I've been really sick this year. Probably for the better part of 2017, I've been battling some kind of illness. But I'm on the mend, so I'm happy to be back. I've done a little bit of scrapping here and there, but I just really needed something to kind of motivate me or kind of, you know, up my motivation and my inspiration. So for me, one of the things that works to do that is for a good old fashioned haul. So what I have to share with you today is from two places, Tuesday morning and Joann's, and I'm gonna hop right in. Starting out with this mat, this is the folding cutting mat from Martha Stewart. And oftentimes I use this purple one here, this Fiskars one, and I love the size of it. However, whenever I go to like a crop, I often take my basic gray mat, which is basically like 13 by 13, so it's not quite as large. So I thought this was a good compromise, so it would be as large as this one, if not larger, and it would also kind of fold up more compact than this one does. So I bought that, and this was $7.99, so I thought that was like a really great deal. Next, I bought this Jelly Bean Soup collection, and this is the Spicy Social Soup collection. And I'm really interested in this because I like the B size that, that Jelly Bean Soup does, and I like the colors in this. And I'm a sucker for anything like these glasses and pie charts and stuff like that. Um, I'm a teacher, so all of this stuff kind of interests me in the colors. And it comes with quite a bit of stuff. It comes with the cut apart sheet, the die cut sheet, some stickers and some alphas. And speaking of alphas, I kind of went a bit alpha crazy at both places, but I'm gonna show the ones from Joann's first. I found a few sets of stickers there. I found these that are the shoebox font and they're like a white iridescent kind of glitter. These are the rain boots and they're a hot pink foam glitter. These are my favorite. I love the foam glitter. And then I bought two packs of these. These are from, I guess, a Paige Evans collection. And these are just called Paige. And I bought two of these because a lot of times when you have a thicker that is a larger size, you'll get less number of alphabet stickers, if that makes sense. So they're larger, but there's less in number. See, like these are 112, these are 132. Well, these are 103, but these are kind of large as well. So it just depends, and these, I thought I would go ahead and just buy two of them because I like them. And plus, since they're patterned, the combinations of, you know, oh, I want the E, but I'd like to have it in this color or that color, I thought two would do me well. And then I kind of went crazy with these Jelly Bean Bean Board Alphas because I love them. I've had these before in the aqua color, but I saw all of these there and I bought them all. I bought the green and the red, a navy, and the aqua that I've had before. They had yellow, and I bought two of the gray because if you know me, I love gray and it's a great neutral, so I bought two of them there. I also purchased these embellishments by Martha Stewart at Tuesday morning and I'm really sorry for the glare but these are like kind of doilies and just wood grain and craft and I just really love them I thought they were really neat and they're already layered up so that's really nice and they were only 99 cents so I went ahead and bought a pack of those and also, I bought this washi tape, which is from the DIY shop, and it's like a wood grain um, washi. It says wood veneer tape, but it's just washi tape that is wood grain. And I have another roll, maybe even two, of a wood grain tape, but I use it very sparingly, so I thought, well, if I had one more, I'd use those more. So we'll see if that works. Then at Joann's, I went ahead and picked up some paper and I purchased this one sheet of gold um, pattern paper. Well, it's not pattern paper, but this gold glitter paper, it doesn't come off. It's 
one of those nice ones. And the reason that I bought this is because I was watching someone's video and I saw that they had made some DIY like embellishment clusters and they had used some punches and gold and it looked really nice. So I thought that I would go ahead and try my hand at that. So I needed one sheet of gold paper. Then these next few sheets, these are very thin. It sounds ridiculous to say paper thin, but they are paper thin. They are just pattern papers that were American Crafts and they're just like in the loose papers. And I went ahead and picked up a couple of these with the sole intention of layering them just because this is not gonna hold anything. It's so thin, but I did like the layering part. I don't even, I honestly don't know why they even make paper this thin anymore. I mean, obviously I'll buy it and use it for layering, but I feel like in this day and age, they should be making paper a little bit higher quality than this because I feel like even the paper pads, the paper's thicker than this. So I don't know why I'm complaining because I'm the one who bought them, but nonetheless, it should be thicker and I would be happier. So this has like some little craft, like it looks like ink, like someone took a paintbrush kind of around part of it. And it has this little heart here and these look like kind of a gray sweatshirt material kind of. So I really like that. This one here is some watercolored hearts with some script in the back. And this is from the Moonstruck collection, I believe, from Pink Paisley. And then this one, I believe, is from Maggie Holmes. I don't know what collection, but it just looks like something she would do. So it may not even be hers, but I'm gonna give it to her because I think it's hers. So like these, I think would be really good to cut apart and use. So I'm not worried that they're extra thin because again, they're gonna be stacked on top of something else. This one here with the cameras, I thought it would be nice to fussy cut one or two of these out, maybe use them as a border strip. I don't know, but I like the print. I like the colors, so again, Really cute paper for layering, definitely not for building a layout on. This one is from Coordinations and it's this ivory and black kind of Swiss cross pattern. And I really like this because, I don't know, it's just really bold and I don't know, I really liked it. It's, again, it's not as thin as this, but I don't think this is, maybe this is more cardstock quality, but um, I feel like there's some other paper out there that's much thicker. I bought two sets of alphas. Well, not just two sets, but these two sets that I bought from Sticko. This one is just a black, white, and gray type font. And they're like thickers, but I think that the thickers are a little bit thicker, if you will. So these are more of a thin, thicker, and they're chipboard. And then here's another set. These are kind of a cream with a gold stripe through them. So I bought two sets of that. And then I bought some six by six pads. I bought this one that is every day. And I just like the bright color colors there. I bought Cute Girl. I bought Take Me Away. And I'm not gonna flip through these because I'm sure you guys have already seen these. This one is Birthday Bash by Pink Paisley and I hadn't even seen that one before. And then I bought the Moonstruck. Again, that pattern paper right there is one of those thin ones that I bought. So I can use this with that along with some cardstock and some other pattern papers to um, make a layout. So I bought five of them all together. And then they had this little section that was called Miss Sparkle and Co. And I hadn't seen this before, but I hadn't been to Joann's in quite a long time. So I kind of went crazy. Everything there was $1.99. So I bought these little heart, I mean flower stamps. I thought these would be really nice. I thought I could fussy cut this one and maybe layer it up and stamp this flush on the paper and stack this. And then I bought some alphabet stamps as well. I bought this one that's really just a block font. And then I bought this one. I love this one. It's like a little cursive kind of font. It reminds me of something from like Ellie Studio or something like that. And then I bought the capital letters for that. Well, I think they go together. I don't know. Then they had these little alpha sets and I bought a few of them. I bought the gold. I'm gonna move this over. 
the silver. And these are just, I mean, regular sticker alpha sets that I think will work well. I like to use a flat sticker like that with something with a little more dimension to layer up my titles. So I bought the pink, the aqua, the white, and the black. So I'm really excited about those. I also bought these. They were the adhesive foam squares. They were $1.99. They have two sheets. So I bought that. And the last thing I picked up was some tacky glue because I like to use, I like to go in when I've done my layout and I'm completely finished. I like to go back in and kind of just put some ad liquid adhesive under some of the corners because I find that it adheres better than the dry adhesive does. So that is everything I purchased today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will talk to you all again very soon. Until then, take care.